It's where the Great Plains meet the Rocky Mountains. Boulder, Colorado, and Folsom Field is a site for today's game. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Florida State lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Got the corner, and he's tackled at the 26-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Throws complete, and he's hit hard behind the line. Three-yard loss there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. We've got a second and 14. Ball in the 23. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. Quick throw, and he's tackled at about the 23-yard line. And that was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. Pittman awaiting the return. Hitman fields it at the 39, and down he goes at the 50. Benson's a guy you really have to game plan for if you're a defensive coach. And we sat down with the coaches this week, and they know, they look at him, they look at that offensive line, and they know they're in for a long day. Well, it's going to be a tough challenge for this defense. One thing that they, I think, have to do is commit numbers to the line of scrimmage. They've got to be able to be willing to take chances, put an eighth, sometimes ninth guy up close to the line of scrimmage and force his quarterback to try to have to beat them by throwing the ball through the air. Otherwise, it could be a long day for this defense. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. Look at the power. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 34. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. goes at the 31 yard line second and seven ball on the 31 He's taken down at the 22. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Tailback brought down for a loss. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22. And now he pitches it. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 22-yard line. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Florida State could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights.
Fitzgerald gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. Tackle made at the 21. The Seminoles are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Up the middle for a nice game. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball in the 25. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. They come out in a five wide set. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. And they make the stop around the 43-yard line. Smith gets the call again, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. And he's taken down at the 38-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And they get nice yardage on that run. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Play fake. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's tackled right around the 14-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. First and ten. Ball on the 14. Tackle made at about the 17-yard line. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Here's the 11th play of the drive. He fights forward to about the 16. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. Quick strike, and he drops it. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. Colorado is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Tackle at the 28. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. Fourth down upcoming as they go three and out. Outstanding pressure here on the quarterback. They sent every one of those linebackers, and even though they couldn't get to the quarterback, they were able to prevent the first down. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Well, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. And they'll get them in the backfield. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Second and 13. Ball on the 37. He fights forward to about the 40. Sanders gains around three yards on the option play. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Got the corner. Hitman fields it at the 24. He's knocked out of bounds at the 34. Got to wonder right now which offense is going to open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. We're all tied up as we head into quarter number two. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fires it out. And he hits him hard at the 43. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Nice run, and he's brought down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 46. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they push him out around the 49-yard line. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10.
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Throws in a hurry. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's stopped behind the line. Pittman is back to receive. Pittman fields it at the 40. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. They give to the tailback. Gets to about the 47-yard line. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. He's out of bounds at the 28-yard line. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. From the 28-yard line, first down. He laterals. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Here he goes. They'll bring him down around the 12-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. First and 10, ball on the 12-yard line. And now he's got room to run. Touchdown, Florida State. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six play, 49 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. And Brad, right now the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. The score now, 10-3. Reed from the three, and he shoved out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Nice run up the middle. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And down he goes at the 37. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. Nice run there. Schmidt comes away with five yards on the carry. From their own 42-yard line, second down.
And now he pitches it, and he's tackled at the 40-yard line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Perfect timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. From the 46-yard line, first down. On the ground with the tailback. Runs right for a nice gain. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. They're about four yards away here on third down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. It's the ninth play of the drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They come out on an empty backfield. Strike to his receiver, no good. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's taken down around the 13-yard line. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. Colorado ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Seminoles get ready to go in here at halftime. They've got their star player not having the kind of game he normally has on a weekly basis. And yet, they've got the lead. And with that in mind, third and fourth quarter could belong to them. Third and fourth quarter should belong to them because I have a lot of confidence that this offense is eventually going to start to click. And, and once they do, I think it's a matter of time until you really find out what they're capable of doing. The defense, I think, has done a good enough job of slowing down that star tailback. We'll see if they can hold on here in the second half. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. Florida State is up four. Zips it to the back, and he's level at the 47. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Oh, and almost picked off. Hey, this guy's got to forget about the drop. Remember, he was in good position to make a play. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Swings it out left to the halfback. Knocked out of bounds at the 45. Quick strike to the receiver. 
And they finally push him out at the 12-yard line. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Up the middle for a nice game. Florida State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Here's the halfback. And they make the stop at the eight. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he adds the extra point. Fitzgerald ready to kick. Smith from the one. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 28. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Makes it out to about the 39. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. And he's going to be sacked. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. 17-6, Seminoles. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Well, this offense has found the end zone on their last two drives, and they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. He's got it out to his tight end. Brought down at the 29-yard line. That's four yards on the play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. He fights forward to about the 30. from their own 30-yard line. Third down. And he's taken down at the 40. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. From their own 42-yard line. Second down. Tackle right around the 40. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Gets it. He's in space. He's pushed out of bounds around the 35-yard line. From the 35-yard line, first down.
makes it to the 27. Here's the eighth play of the series. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 14-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. This is the 10th play of this drive. There's a strike complete. He's tackled at the four. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, Seminoles! That option was so smoothly executed. He looked totally in control on that keeper. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's to the 40. Makes it to the 44. He goes downtown. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in an alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything works perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And he is drilled at the 50. Hopkins picks up six yards with that grab. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. Travis gets about four yards on the option keeper. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Tackle made at the 42-yard line. He's gobbled up in the backfield. From their own 40-yard line. It's second down. Run, 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 run. 
They'll go ground. A two-yard run by the halfback. And a quick throw. He's at midfield. He gets hit out of bounds at the 45-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Quick pass tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. Pitches back. They'll bring him down at the 42. And this play is number eight on the drive. He delivers. The defender had it and then dropped it. Well, the offense catches a break here. That ball should have been intercepted there by the safety. So the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And down he goes at the 29. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Oh, so it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Tackles him hard at the 31. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they push him out at the 36. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. And he's tackled around the 45-yard line. Gets to about the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. He keeps it. Fumble, loose ball. It's picked up by the quarterback. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 35. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tackled after a decent pickup. Maybe it's time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter. 24 to 6, Seminoles.
All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Throws it to the outside. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. I'm a huge fan of the play action pass in college football because the play action, it really puts a lot of pressure on a defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game and it puts them out of position and it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. First down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's taken down at the five. And this is the 12th play of the drive. On the pass, touchdown. That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. A 12-play, 81-yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he hits him hard at the 18. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Benson gets six yards on the carry. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And he's level at the 33-yard line. Pittman, the return man. He really got a hold of that one. Pittman takes it at the 23. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. They get nice yardage on that run. From their own 37-yard line, second down. And they make the stop at the 38. Pushed out of bounds. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. He'll get it again. Nice run to the outside. Gets out to around the 38. 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down right around the 28-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Straight run. Nothing going on there. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Up the middle for a nice game. It's the ninth play of the drive. Nice run there. From the 17 yard line, second down. That's a great tackle at the 14 yard line. And he gains around three on that keeper. When you've got the experience that this safety has, you can read plays very quickly and be in just the right position to make a stop near the line of scrimmage. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. And he's taken down at the 11-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. Touchdown, Buffaloes! And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary. But the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Less than three minutes in the game. Pass right, running back's got it. Tackle at the 21-yard line. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 21-yard line. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Six yards there on the option keeper from their own 27-yard line. It's third down. Goes right. Picked off. What is he thinking? The quarterback has got to know at this time in the game, unless his man is wide open, that he should just throw it away. It's these kinds of mistakes that can cost you a game. Nice run up the middle. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Taken down in the backfield. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance.
They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 22. A little over a minute in the game. Gets out to about the 21. Looking for the corner, tackled for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. There's a strike complete. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Deep ball, laying it out there. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. He takes a knee. Colorado will take their last time out. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 15-yard line, and this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, 24-19, Seminoles. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football for 